Welcome back, everybody, to the Breakdown Podcast YouTube channel. My name's Corey, and with me today, once again, to break down the latest episode of The Masked Singer, it's Vic. That's me! What's going on, man? How are we doing today? I'm doing well, and I hope you are as uh, sitting at home. Uh, we do want to let you know before we get started that we do have a podcast that we do every Tuesday at 7 p.m. ish Eastern. It's on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash MillerKing underscore 51. The link is in the description down below. Uh, please come by and join us as we talk movies, TV shows, video games, uh, and anything else that's uh, uh, safe to talk about. Uh, we do we do that every about. Tuesdays. Yes. <laughs> we do that every Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern on Twitch. Uh, and also, we do. if you can't join us live, we do have the show available for listening, and that's on Apple Podcasts as well as Spotify. So, while you're here, before we get started, please hit the subscribe button down below. It does help us out. And uh, if you have any comments on, on any of the uh, choices that we've made, any of our guesses, please let us know. And, uh, and you know, who knows? Maybe, maybe, you'll get a, maybe you'll get a response back. Yes, I'm saying you will because uh, we <laughs> don't do that. Vic, let's break this down. Here we go. We started off uh, first with Duck. I'm not calling him Mallard. He's a Mallard! Get it right! I'm not calling him Mallard, I'm calling him Duck. You because, are a um, duckist. If that actually, does. I'm just calling it what it is, a, a duck. <laughs> um, I've said Dude, last that's like weeks, saying the Maserati is a... Uh, uh, a car? Uh, I, was, I was about to go there and just fucked up my whole argument. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, same thing. Oh, okay, so anyhow, you win this fight, fine. <laughs> I uh I myself into weeks, a corner. <laughs> yes, you did. The last couple of weeks I've been saying it was Chris uh Stapleton. Mm-hmm. And uh You're going to I'm changing over. that. Oh, okay. I'm cha I'm changing that after this video. There's a couple things that were said in this, talking about family, mm -hmm. talking about some things that were said um that uh I think I don't know if I, I can't remember the exact wording, but some things were said by some one person that uh in the or like in the family or what have you that uh people didn't agree with so um i am officially changing and locking my vote in oh you're gonna lock it in on top of that yeah okay and uh if memory serves me correctly you already have locked your vote in yes i have yes and i believe it's the exact same person that i'm locking mine in i'm going with willie roberts ah Hold on. Now I have to ask you this question. There's, I've got another example. As okay, well too, go as ahead. To why. Maybe this is maybe uh, this is the, the the answer to my question. Go yeah, ahead. because uh, because we do this and we have the access to the internet, I'm using that to my advantage. Okay. And unlike the judges who probably do it off been, screen been, or have somebody do it for you, them. Yep. Yep. Very uh, rock uh, new rock star situation going on there. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, he had to get a dig in there. <laughs> um, Always. He they they mentioned. Uh, that he had done this song. He was asked on stage by Luke Bryan to do this song mm -hmm. and couldn't remember the words. Yep. So I did a little Google search and I found out that Willie also did, he did a song with Luke Bryan. Yeah, they did a Christmas um, song. So mm, that's why I'm uh, with that and the family. And I knew you had already said something before. Plus, the duck thing is kind of right in our face. Uh, I'm definitely going. I'm definitely locking in Willie Robertson. And and then if you notice at the end of that one, um, they had uh, Chris Pratt on there, and he was talking about going uh, gigging with him, yeah. frog gigging with him, and that's the exact story I told you about from when they were doing Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> I tell you what, though, that that video was hilarious it was it was very chris pratt like you know he was yeah. there just like hey we need you to record a video for you know for this and uh he's like all right give me a second he went out in the backyard poured some water and some dirt was like all right i'm ready <laughs> no he i i fully believe that he was still out there he's just you know of, of he needs course. some help 
No. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, I th- I, that's it. I'm, I'm locking it in. And we've already said that you were locking it in as well, too. So, so um, if if we get it, do I get credit for the, the, the point for it, even though you were correct? Because I locked it in first? But how does this work? Like, we have to figure out both, some real... We, both we have to it. figure out some real rules on this. <laughs> we both... It's always been if we both guess it... Okay. Then we both get a point. Okay. Yeah. I still feel like there should be some sort of rules. I should get like an extra half a point for locking in early. No. <laughs> no. I'm just biding my time and, and you know, you're, and you're looking gathering at me. up all the clues. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm-hmm. From there, we move on to was Heart next? Uh, no, Caterpillar was the next one up in line. Uh, dude, so they, whoever's in there can sing, first of all. This song was a really good song for him, um, and he belted that bitch out like nobody's business. So whoever it is does have some singing chops. I still have no idea who this is, though. Um, the big... I have one clue. I have one visual clue. Okay. The other thing that like I did kind of suss out a little bit is, I, and again, this is not derogatory at all, but he referred to Ken as baby. And there was a little bit of a of a uh, of a thing to it, and I was like, mm, I feel like this may be a gay man. Okay. Um, and I, I like it was just the interaction itself, and like mm-hmm. it just kind of kicked out in there. But then I'm like, I can't think of anybody. <laughs> like I keep I keep like racking my brain trying to figure out who it was, and like I have the I I, I even sent over the notes that had like. Um, it was a telemarketer. Um, I, I saw the thing about the eye patch, and I can't figure out what that has to do. Oh, yeah, that's a that one's a big clue. Hold that on, one really stood out to me. Yeah, because it was on the security guard, and it was an eye, like an an eye patch. Yeah. So it's one eye, right? Yes. It, this is this is so. This is so. Otherwise, it'd be a blindfold. So here, here's a stretch. So I'm gonna say, and this is very weird, but I'm gonna say, gay, one eye. What if it's somebody from Queer Eye? There's a there's a show on Netflix where these five guys show up, and they like they redo like the the person's look. Now I know what show you're talking about. Is it about, Queer but, Eye for the? Gave- what is this? Queer, what is this? queer eye for straight guy. Is that what it is? Okay. Mm-hmm. So here's the problem. That the problem. that and the eye patch. Yeah, that's my problem too. But it does now give me something to go on as far as a guess. So, mm-hmm. all right. So here's my guess. This one, this caterpillar is one of the guys from Queer Eye for a Straight Guy. I don't know now. who. But this is where my this is where my detective skills are going to start off. So okay. I'm adding that okay. to my notes. Okay, I I'm gonna go a little bit here. I watched some of the earlier seasons of that show, so you know it's been going on for I don't know how many years now. I don't know who's on the show anymore. I know it started off on like on like was it, it used to be like history on Lifetime, Discovery? Yeah, something. But now it's on Lifetime, Netflix. You know, it's on yeah, Netflix TLC. now. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know who's on the show now. I, it could be somebody from the new show, but if I had to guess, oh, there's a whole other group of people. It's not the same people anymore. No, not from the original. From the original, oh, from okay. the show originally started. That's gonna make it hard. They've all gone their separate ways. Like uh, I think one's name is Carson, but you would really be able to tell that's not. I'm, not, I'm sure that's not him. Um, there is one. Um, one dude on there who could, and I think he ended up going on to doing stuff on Broadway. Okay, I don't recall his name, um, but I think he was Latino. I'm not. I know, and he had like short dark hair. He's kind of like the shortest and smallest guy out of all of the original guys uh, on the show. I don't know, could be him, but I will say this: the one physical attribute that I noticed is when they were showing. Um, footage of them rehearsing Mm -hmm. they were in a room it wasn't on the stage it was in like a dance room and so he had normal clothes on and then had the head however when you watch them doing the interviews 
they've got like black sweatshirts on and then they've got almost like a black turtleneck that comes up so it ex- does not expose their skin. Right. In that dance thing, there was nothing there. So you saw is, you saw what color he was? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. You can see. He's either white, could be Latino as well too. So I'm I'm sticking in that in that area, uh, I, but I don't have an exact name. Okay. So yeah, I like that's that's, that's about as far as I can get. <laughs> and I honestly like it just kind of dawned on me because of the that statement and then the eye thing. But I don't yeah. I don't know anything about the show to be able to say like oh maybe it is one of those people. But I'm damn sure going to do some Google foo and see if I can figure out who it is because I, I feel like this might be the the route to go you might be we might be on the right track here we'll see all okay. uh, right moving on to next was queen of hearts yes next was queen of hearts again now i i have let me let me let me take this one go ahead, i yeah, have yeah. been with queen of hearts since the start i locked in episode one um right after the first thing because there's very little i know about people and when i do know something as like an odd fact i i know it um, and then they started talking about this person leaving home early, living in Alaska, yada, yada, yada. Obviously, my first um, choice for this person was They never Jewel. said Alaska. You wrote that down. What? You wrote that down. They definitely they said Alaska. Alaska. They even brought it up. They just brought it up this episode. They definitely said Alaska. They just brought it up this episode. I even had it in my notes. Okay. Go up. Look up. Okay. Um, but... My guess was Jewel. I've st- I locked mm-hmm. it in that first day. I stepped to it. You're like, you're crazy. It's definitely not her. But here's what they did today that even, even I'm, I'm going to throw this at you. And this goes right along with why you switched on your Mallard pick, by the this way. This is not why I switched. I told you why I switched. No, no, no. I'm just telling you. The the, okay. the reason why you switched Mallard is because of, a, of a, him doing a song with someone. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, okay? yeah. At the end of this clue package, they showed the masky thing, which is really weird. They've taken on that whole uh, the clock from uh, from uh, Loki, and now they have their own little talking mask head thing out of nowhere. Um, yeah. But uh, the little masky person thingy was like, "This is a clue," and it was a black crow, right? Who mm-hmm. sings with the last name of Crow? Cheryl Crow. Who did a song with Cheryl Crow? Jewel. Uh, they did. A, they did a cover of um, "Sweet Home Alabama" together. So you put who did a song? Who did duets with 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 uh, with Sheryl Crow, right? And then you, you combine it. There? You combine it with. Are you stretching? Yes. You, oh, okay. I, I yeah, I get it. That's a pretty good pantomime, by the way. Anyway, that's my guess. I, I'm I'm locking it in even more because Cheryl Crow did a song with her, "Sweet Home Alabama." They did a cover of it. Uh, it just adds to my my mounting uh, edition of of clues. So, who do you think? Um, oh, by the way, the uh, the judges also brought up Jewel today. Yeah, that's what I was going to mention. Thanks for uh, taking that away from me. Yeah, well, you know, last couple of week or the last uh, few weeks, I didn't have anybody written down. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I got to thinking about it, uh, watching this, there mm-hmm. were some clues that were dropped and made me start thinking about different things. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the things she said was people talking about her weight. Uh, so I'm like, okay, who, okay. who could this be? Um, and started tossing things around. Obviously it's not Adele. Um, but one person who did come to mind to start with was Kelly Clarkson. Okay. Okay. And because she did get a lot of weight and she did get a lot uh, and she did get people talking about it. But then I crossed her out because if (laughs) you just marked her out, like, okay, first Kelly Clarkson, nope, no more. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. This, and this was all in this episode. I crossed her out. And because I think she's a judge on, uh, um, the the other show on NBC, the voice, the voice. So she, there's no way in hell she's she going to do this show. was a judge on there. Is she a, currently a judge on there? I think she still is. Okay, I know that they switch so, them out on a on a semi regular basis. So yeah, so I don't. I, I if she, if I'm correct about that, there's no way she's doing this show. Too. You don't think she has time to do both shows? It's not that. I think it's contractual. Oh, about being, be on, being, on, two, being on different uh, different stations networks. or whatever networks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah I can yeah. see that. I got you. So. The, the the more I kept listening to the to to her sing, one person did come to mind who is not, um, not by any means overweight, but she's uh, she's definitely not like skin and bones either. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and I'm, I'm pr- I probably am wrong about this, but uh, because they didn't mention, I don't remember them mentioning Alaska because if they did, my mind would definitely go straight to Jewel. But I don't remember them saying that, so I'm sticking to that not being ever said. Uh, I'm going with Pink. <laughs> Pink is a good guess. Um, one of my favorite artists, um, but I do remember um, somebody had brought her name up at one point. Um, I can't remember now. They had brought her up at one point, and I I knew that I had a reason why it didn't fit when they brought it up, but now I can't remember what it was. But I think it is a good guess. I, I think then it's a good it's guess. It's not valid. I thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm go- I'm not locking it in, obviously. Wow. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, that brings us to our last contestant, who is a wild card, and certainly it was wild indeed. Uh, it's Beach Ball. Dude, uh, I was like, dude, there's another wild card? <laughs> yeah. And we we certainly could have done without it, because by far this was the worst song, um, probably worse than Danny Trejo. Now, I'm going to show you what I wrote down as my guess. Okay. Do you want to see what it was? Okay, here we go. It just says, Kill me. <laughs> That's how bad it was. I didn't care. I knew this person was getting voted off, and there's no oh. way in hell I could. I mean, sure, they were probably, I mean, they were obviously on the right track with uh, naming Kardashians. Yeah, just ridiculous, like, uh, reality, show, reality show stars and stuff. They were down the right path. Uh, we obviously didn't see uh, this coming. Uh, did, did, you, did you, I'm guessing you didn't have a pick either. No, like, I was just like, um, when they brought it up, I was like, who the fuck could this possibly be? I actually thought, what was the, the girl, like, when, when she started singing and it was horrible, I was like, okay. And then she was like, oh, I did a song when I was younger and I did it in one take. And I was like, watch well, this be like Claudia Black, the chick that did that Friday song. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Yeah. I was thinking like... It's not Claudia. Uh, it's something. Whatever what her name yeah, is. But I, know I was like, maybe it'll be her, like, because, like... I could see that being a thing, like where everybody gave her a hard time, then everybody disappeared, like didn't want to be around her for a while. Like that was that whole controversy. And then like maybe I was like, oh, I started to come back into the public eye. Like I don't know what the hell that girl's doing now. So like I it wouldn't be on my radar. Rebecca Black. Rebecca Black, that's it. And I was like, okay, well maybe that's something that has to do with it. And then um but I was like, I have no effing idea who this was. But then when they when they uh ousted Beach Ball very quickly. <laughs> they let the air out of that thing fast. I was Good. just like, thank you, Lord, because if, if Beach Ball had have made it through again, like, so there are a lot of really bad, um, uh, a lot of really bad singers that have gone through for not the right reasons. Um, I would have been mm. like, this is bullshit. If anybody got voted off and that thing did not, there's no way in hell that should have been a thing. So. Yeah, it turns out it was uh, Honey Boo Boo and Mama June. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. My son walked in the room right as uh, right as they were like singing, and uh, he was like, "Yeah." She's like, uh, "Mama June just like got out of like a bunch was just like in the news for like a bunch of shit, like bad shit, not not too long ago." And she's like, "I just got out of rehab." I was like, "Oh well, that was probably it." <laughs> no, that was. I think. I think that was for drugs. Yeah, it was. Or alcohol, drug yeah, yeah. and alcohol. Right, but, but it was, problem, she was in the, she the, was in the public eye because had, of it at the time. Well, the problem, the other pr- issue that was going on was much worse, mm. which we're not going to talk about here. If you want to find out about that, just Google it. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's going to uh, do it for this episode. Um, so far, we didn't get any right this episode. There was only one we could get right. Didn't get it right, obviously. No, uh, you, you're, you're you skipping to, you one, dude. You're skipping one. How are you trying to jump out so fast? Banana Split was on this episode, dude. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we, I forgot. You're just like, all right, we're out. Bye. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot about Banana. Banana. Split. Yeah, Banana Split um, was in this episode. Um, and I, I again, um, it, it comes out with him playing piano. Like the first episode, I was like, we don't even know if this guy can really play piano. Apparently, he can really play the piano. Like he's really good at it. Um, and there was a lot of talk about like who this could be. You know. 
we came to the conclusion that like she's really high energy he is no energy um <laughs> i was talking to my wife about it. i was like does this person sound familiar to you and she's like it sounds like Catherine mcphee i'm like i i can't play this game with you <laughs> Because she hasn't seen or heard any of the conversation that we had right. about this, and there was there was we made mention of it, and she just listens to it for like a minute or two, and she's like, "That sounds a lot like Catherine McPhee." I'm like, "Who is Catherine McPhee?" Because that name was brought up before. She's like, "You know her. We watch her on Scorpion." I'm like, "Oh, the waitress with the kid on the yeah." We watch a show called Scorpion when it was on, and she was in that show right after she got off of um, what was it? She was in the uh, the same American show, Idol. American Idol, and I was like, "Oh." Oh, that's right. And she left the show because she got pregnant or whatever. And she and then she's like, yeah, she's married to this guy. And I was like, why is she married to that old man? Yeah. <laughs> Which works. So <laughs> after my wife's convincing, because like everyone else said something too. somebody else had mentioned it. I don't know if it was either you or one of the one of the judges, but um, I'm, I'm going to go with it. And then my bad joke for that is uh, he's a banana. And there's a thing called Banana Foster. So that's that's locked it in for me. Just that bad pun has made this. This is who I'm going to guess. Kathy McPhee and David Foster. That's who it is. Okay. I'm still sticking with Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett, only because um, I don't have another guess. I mean, that May-December I, thing, I, it definitely makes sense, you know. I'm not I'm not sold on it, though. I'm, be, I'm beginning to lose faith in it. Well, here's my uh, deal. I, I, I have no idea who this could actually be, and I can't guess i i just don't think it's lady gaga that voice does not sound like it lady gaga to me at no. all and i was rolling with you at first because i had no idea but i gotta trust my wife's instinct on these things because she has been very very right on occasions with this like literally listening for one moment and be like yeah it's this person and i'm like oh, okay and then she ends up being right even though i discounted it at first um so i'm gonna go with my wife's first instinct and i'm going to lock this in as david foster and katherine mm. mcphee well, uh, I'm certainly not locking anything in. I did um, have it. I did hear little bits of her singing in this song, and it made me think of uh, the Sunday Night Football theme song, just the voice. So I was like, could it be Faith Hill or Carrie Underwood? They Maybe. did the Sunday Night Football theme. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I haven't, so, I haven't watched Sunday Night Football in a while. I don't remember them doing that, but okay. Yeah. It was either it. Sunday night or Monday night. Either way, uh, they both sang it. So I'm like, maybe. The, it's are one you ready of them. for some football thing? Yeah, but they did a different version. Okay. It's a whole, it's a whole different <laughs> version. So, uh, so that's, a, that's a possibility. I've got that yeah. sitting in my back pocket. I don't know what that's going to be yet, but, uh, but we'll see. We'll see when they come back next time. Maybe I've got something new. Sure. That being said, we yep. are going to wrap this video up. We do want to thank you for watching. Be sure to check us out every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. So, on behalf of Victor. That's me. I'm Corey. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you next time. See ya!